Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Britt Cooper. Now, I hope you guys didn't think that I was not going to talk about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey because that would be a travesty. I would never let you down like that. After all the Taylor Swift episodes I have done this summer, there was no way that I was gonna miss talking about this huge American news. Actually, it's worldwide because people here have even been talking about it. I was filming on Pendragon every day last week and I had no time to write and film any additional episodes beyond what I had already done. So I just had to sit by myself and collect all this information and read all the tweets and see all the TikToks and not be able to share it with any of you, which was incredibly painful. But today we are fixing all of that. We're gonna talk about it. And we're also gonna talk about some new world order conspiracies about how Travis secured a date with Taylor in the first place, because it's kind of crazy. Before we dive into this though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. And so that you don't miss any more of this Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey content because there are so many levels to this story. Like I am so excited to do an episode on his insane ex-girlfriend. Just wait, there's a lot coming and I'm very excited. Anyway, now, as I am sure you all have seen, because it is literally all that everybody has been talking about for the last seven days. Taylor Swift and Chiefs player Travis Kelsey are a thing. They have been linked. I don't think that they are officially dating. I don't think they've said that. It's all like, they're really hanging out. They're getting to know each other. It's very, you know, casual, but they're having fun. No, they're dating. They're dating. I'm calling it. It has not been said explicitly, but I think that they are. And this all started because last Sunday, she showed up to his Chiefs game and the world literally stopped. And suddenly, Women everywhere were asking their husbands about football. Swifties were swarming the NFL. Patrick Mahomes was giggling and waving up at her in the stands, and the internet has not shut up about it since. Now, a little backstory on all of this for those of you who do not keep up with Taylor Swift's dating antics, which is probably good for you. You probably have, you know, a clearer headspace than us who do follow her. <laughs> Taylor was dating British actor Joe Alwyn for the last six years. They were incredibly private because he is a very, very private person, did not want to be in the spotlight with her. They didn't talk about their dating life whatsoever. And a lot of her fans thought that he dimmed her sparkle a little bit because she was definitely very, you know, reserved and demure while they were dating. Now, no one really knows what happened, but in the spring, she leaked a song called You're Losing Me that allegedly details what was going on at the end of their relationship. And it seems like one of them, her, wanted to get married. He did not want to and was not fighting for the relationship. They went their separate ways, which I'm sure was a very heartbreaking thing after you have dedicated, you know, the entirety of your 20s and six years to one individual. So all in all, the whole situation was just rough, which is the opposite of rough greens. Now, as you guys know, there's very little that I love more than my dogs, and I would do anything to make sure that they are as healthy as humanly possible, which is why I trust Rough Greens. Naturopathic Dr. Dennis Black, the founder of Rough Greens, is focused on improving the health of every dog in America, and that's where his product comes in. Rough Greens is a supplement that contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants that your dog needs every single day. And the best part about Rough Greens is that it's a supplement, not a whole food. So you don't have to go out and break the bank trying to buy some fancy new expensive dog food and figure out which one works for your dog. You can just sprinkle Rough Greens on the food they already have every single day and you will be leagues ahead from where you were. Dog owners everywhere like me are raving about Rough Greens because it supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels, and so much more. Brocky and Tater love it. They wolf it down every single morning and I trust that your dog will love it too. In fact, the team at Rough Greens is so confident that their products will improve your dog's health that they are offering my viewers a free Jumpstart trial bag so that your dog can try it too. This free Jumpstart trial bag can be at your door in just a few business days. So go to freeroughgreens.com slash Brett or call 877-66-MY-DOG. Again, that's freeroughgreens.com slash Brett or call 877-66-MY-DOG today. And your dog will be a lot happier than Taylor Swift was after that breakup. Anyway, they broke up and Taylor promptly took over the world with the Eras Tour, selling out stadiums, fixing the American economy. We've talked about it before. Travis Kelsey, the Chiefs player has been a longtime Taylor Swift fan, like sings Taylor Swift songs at karaoke parties, has said that she is his celebrity crush for years at this point. And he went to her tour stop in Kansas City and he made her a friendship bracelet and all of her fans make friendship bracelets and trade them at the concerts. Anyway, he made a friendship bracelet with his phone number on it and he really wanted to give it to her. A little butthurt, I didn't get to hand her one of the bracelets I made for her. You made her a bracelet? Yeah, if you're up on uh, Taylor Swift concerts, there are friendship bracelets and I received a bunch of them being there, but I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it. Not right now. Your number's in 87 or your phone number? You know which one. <laughs> She doesn't meet anybody, or at least she didn't want to meet me, so I took a personal. And then this was back in the summer, but we didn't really hear anything after the, you know, friendship bracelet went wrong because he wasn't able to give it to her. And then boom, last weekend, rumors start circulating that they're dating. And then she shows up at the Chiefs game on Sunday afternoon. Just watch some of these clips from the game. That was 
literally four seconds and I'm like, oh my God, it's so amazing. That clip has been seen everywhere now of him looking up and being like, oh my God, she's really here. And then she was cheering for him, but then there were so many clips of her just sitting there and like blushing and looking all cute and like smitten. Like that is why the internet is obsessed because this is the stuff that rom-coms are made of. It is literally a rom-com happening before our very eyes. And I'm telling you that people are freaking out. Just watch this family. <gasps> I just saw You're her. kidding me. No, she's not. Her. This is a joke. No, she's, she's there. She's yeah, there. They just zoomed in on her in a sky box. Back up. Rewind. Rewind the tape. <laughs> Did you? Why do you think it's not real? Because I thought it was all fake. Oh, oh, guys, it's God literally so sakes. real. It is real. Show me. They were an atom, yeah. didn't she? That's Grandpa's getting involved. She rocked the stadium. She needed to come see me rock the stadium. That's right. That's what he said. So he did. So he did. I love that the mom knows what he said because he invited her apparently and said, I watched you rock the Kansas City Stadium. Now you can come watch me rock it. That's so cringe, Travis. But it worked. It worked. And it makes me think like Taylor is such a millennial and so many of the things that she does are cringe, but her fans love it. I eat it up. And it's like she must have seen that and been like, yes, I'll come. It's so stupid, guys. But I'm having a great time talking about it. Oh, my God. Again, it's the most American rom-com love story I have ever seen, Nature is Healing, because after years and years, guys, even before she was dating Joe Alwyn, Taylor Swift has been dating British men. Calvin Harris, Maddie Healy, like she's been dating British guys for years now. She's finally dating an American again, and he is a football player of all things. Nature is Healing as a country, this is what we need. One person tweeted and said, Taylor Swift dating an American footballer is literally like the Declaration of Independence. Free from the shackles of British colonialism, this is the moment. But anyway, back to the game. Here's a clip of her screaming with his mom after he scored a touchdown. The end zone, there it is, a touchdown to Kelsey. Also, what he's doing right there in her concert when she sings The Archer, she does this move on stage. He just did that. Swifties have been pointing that out. I had to share it with you all. I didn't catch it because I'm not that invested, but now I am. Now I know. Anyway, look at her cheering. It's so cute. She's singing like, let's go. She's excited. That's his mom right there. Mama Kelsey, who everybody loves. Looks like a very supportive girlfriend. She loves football. She's actually a huge Eagles fan. And Jason Kelsey, Travis Kelsey's brother, plays for the Eagles. So maybe there's, you know, a little like rivalry already starting. I don't even know, guys, but the football world is going crazy. One girl commented and said, this was the first football game I watched that was at the Super Bowl. Somebody else said I had the same reaction to seeing her at the game. And like I said, she was sitting and standing next to his mom for the entire game. And they were so cute and, you know, chatting and gabbing. Gave me the impression that they've probably been on a few dates. Maybe she's gone over to their house, played, you know, Cards Against Humanity. Like, this was not a first date, is what I'm trying to say. Now, Travis was obviously looking up at her from the field throughout the entire game, but I loved this video of Patrick Mahomes and some of the guys on the field realizing that she was there. Just like the zoom-ins are so good. He's so giddy. It's literally like we're in high school. We're eating it up. This is the most American core, you know, football. It's just too good. Now, not only did her presence take over social media and the game itself, but it literally took over the post-game interviews and no one seemed mad about it at all. Like, that is what the players were being asked about. I mean, she's a pop star. She's a tremendous singer, tremendous at everything she does. And I haven't got to meet her. Um, But, I mean, I guess if if she ends up being with Travis, then I'll probably get to meet her at some point. So uh, it seems like a good... (laughs) Seems like a good person, so uh, hopefully I get to meet her one day. Did you know she was going to be here? Did you tell anyone that? Yeah, but he, he told he told me at like the last minute, but there's some things with Trav where he kind of just says it, and you're like, you don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> I, I, That's you not know coach. Out of my set him up, I just leave it <laughs> Literally, the coach was asked about her. It's like an episode of The Office at this point, like cutting to an interview. So, what did you think about your buddy's new girlfriend? Creamy skin. Straight teeth, curly hair, amazing breasts. Not for me, for my children. The Schroots produce very thirsty babies. It's so funny. She is so powerful. Even if you dislike Taylor Swift, you cannot deny the fact that she is incredibly powerful. Like, I see a lot of discourse online where they're comparing her stats to, you know, like Elvis and Michael Jackson, and people are arguing that she's not as talented as they are. Maybe you have, you know, different music tastes. Maybe you disagree that she's talented. I don't really care. I'm not here to argue about that whatsoever. I do think that there are people that are probably more talented than she is who are not as famous, but you cannot deny she is literally a pop star. We have not had a pop star like this in a while. 
And she has this kind of power to literally take over the NFL. And I know a minute ago, I said that nobody seemed mad about her taking over the post-game interviews, but I know that there are guys out there who are pissed and they can't believe that their sacred football Sundays just got invaded by Taylor Swift and all the Swifties. But guys, I am telling you, this can be a positive thing. This might be the greatest thing to ever happen to your relationship because your girl is about to be a lot more interested in football. If you play your cards right, this could be great for you. It's all about attitude and about how you respond to situations at hand. I talk about that all the time. You can apply that to this situation. However, moving on, there are some people online who are not happy about this, and some are not even convinced that it is real. Because last Friday, right before Taylor showed up to the game, Travis did an ad for Pfizer, and it was posted on his Instagram. And he got so much blowback that he had to turn off the comments. Let's just watch this. And I apologize in advance. It is cringe. Travis, did you know you can get this season's COVID-19 shot when you get your flu shot? Oh. Two things at once. Two things at once! Two things at once! I'll have the... Two things at once, please. Now, back to two things at once. Two things at once. That's not two things at once. Mom! Travis, ask about getting this season's COVID-19 shot when getting your flu shot. It really is cringe. It's so bad. Like, come on, dude. You have all of America rooting for you and you're a shill for Pfizer. Nobody likes that. But that's not all because two months ago, and I'm so sorry to tell you all this, but he did a Bud Light commercial. Let's watch this one. Obviously, this is Bud Light trying to use him to get men back on board with Bud Light to fix the reputation, which really has not worked at all. Now, because of this, a lot of people on the right already did not like or trust Travis Kelsey, and many people believe that him doing these advertisements was a trade. He shills for Pfizer and Bud Light, he gets a date with Taylor Swift. And let's be real, if that was the case, it worked because suddenly no one remembers or seems to care about those ads, which possibly could be a bad thing for Pfizer and Bud Light because... I totally forgot that that happened because I was so wrapped up in all of those TikToks that were flooding my algorithm, but I have no idea. Anyway, just listen to these comments. Like this one person said, Travis Kelsey doing Pfizer ads makes me 100% convinced that the Taylor Swift thing is a psyop. Somebody else said the higher ups using Travis Kelsey for a psyop is insane. Gave him Taylor Swift as a girlfriend, Bud Light and Pfizer commercials, like what the f Somebody else pulled this from earlier this year and said, isn't it a little strange that Travis Kelsey signed with CAA in May and is now featured in at least three advertising campaigns, including Pfizer, and is dating Taylor Swift? Like, people are not convinced. Somebody else said, so a little-known football player, Travis Kelsey, starts dating Taylor Swift. All of a sudden, he's on SNL doing Bud Light commercials and promoting the jab during an election year. New World Order plant much? They don't even care how obvious it is anymore. Now, I will argue with that one because even I knew who Travis Kelsey was. Granted, that was just because I cried at TikToks of him winning the Super Bowl and his brother being very supportive because he lost the Super Bowl, but I still do who he was, he's not a little known. Anomaly said, would you get vaccinated, boosted, and the flu shot, promote Bud Light, and become the poster boy for Pfizer if they told you that you would have access to date Taylor Swift if you did it? Somebody else said, to date Taylor Swift, you have to kiss the ring. So, based on all of this information, I wanna know in the comments, do you guys think that this is actually real? It could totally be real, and they're just so perfect for each other because they're both, you know, Democrats and shills for Pfizer and big government, but also, it could be a psyop. Now, for some additional context, it's still going on like she was at his game against the Jets yesterday in New York City, and she's been hanging out with Brittany Mahomes and Travis's manager. They've been going to each other's houses. So if this is just some huge marketing ploy for Travis's brand and the elites, I'll be interested to see how long they actually keep it up. But for now, my friends, I'm going to keep thoroughly enjoying all of this content and believe that it is real because you all know that 99% of the time, the movies I watch are rom-coms. I love rom-coms, and that is basically what we're watching. Thank you for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you next time.